Can the kitchen and bathroom be on the same circuit? What are the code rules regarding which areas are permitted in the same circuit? And which require a dedicated circuit? Good day, fellow practitioners, engineers, electricians, and future engineers. Welcome to the Codesultant channel. In previous videos, we discussed the code rules for dwelling and non-dwelling units for placing outlets, the types of outlets, and their applications. Now we will learn branch circuit requirements for dwelling units. The figure shows a floor plan of dwelling units where receptacle outlets were already in place. This layout complies with the following sections. 1. Section 2.10.3.3a, Required Outlets. 2. Section 2.10.1.8, Ground Fault Circuit Interrupter Protection for Personnel. And 3. Section 4.6.1.9, For Wet and Damp Locations. Now let's identify which outlets can be in the same circuit, and which must be dedicated. Section 2.10.1.11, C, states that, small appliance branch circuits. In addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section, one or more 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits shall be provided for all receptacle outlets specified by 2.10.3.3, B. This section required one or more 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits on the areas covered in section 2.10.3.3, B. What are those outlets in section 2.10.3.3, B? This section is about small appliances. And in paragraph 1, it states that, receptacle outlets served, in the kitchen, pantry, breakfast room, dining room, or similar area of a dwelling unit, one or more 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits required by 2.10.1.11. C. 1 shall serve all wall and floor receptacle outlets covered by 2.10.3.3 a all countertop outlets covered by 2.10.3.3 c and receptacle outlets for refrigeration equipment hence small appliance branch circuits in the kitchen dining room pantry and breakfast room can be in the same circuit and these are countertop receptacle outlets refrigeration equipment wall and floor mounted receptacle outlets in the kitchen dining room pantry, and similar areas. The illustration shows a total number of 16 outlets that will be connected to the branch circuit. What are the code rules for the maximum number of outlets per circuit? The electrical code doesn't specify a specific limit to the number of outlets you can install on a single circuit. However, this small appliance branch circuit shall be calculated at 1500 VA as specified in section 2.20.3.13 A. How about this other kitchen? Can we combine these outlets with the other kitchen outlets? Let's review the following paragraphs. For exception 1, suppose a switch receptacle outlet is in the kitchen, dining room, breakfast room, pantry, or similar areas, which complies with the definition of 2.10.3.21A1. In that case, this outlet is not permitted to be included in 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits of kitchen and countertops outlets. For exception 2, it allows receptacle outlets for refrigeration equipment or any equipment in a kitchen or similar area to be separated branch circuits or dedicated branch circuits. The rating should be 15 amperes or larger, depending on the rating of the equipment it serves. In paragraph 2 of section 2.10.3.1, B. No other outlets. The one or more small appliance branch circuits specified in 2.10.3.3, B. 1. Shall have no other outlets. Hence, all 20 ampere small appliance branch circuits in the kitchen, dining room, breakfast room, pantry, or similar areas must not be used to supply lighting loads, kitchen hood, or any other non-kitchen areas. A receptacle outlet for a dedicated clock installed to provide power and support in the kitchen, dining room, breakfast room, pantry, or similar areas, is permitted in a small appliance circuit as specified in exception 1. If this is a gas range, the power supply of the lighter to ignite the gas range is permitted to be in a small appliance branch circuit. In paragraph 3 of section 2.10.3.1, B. 
Kitchen Receptacle Requirements Receptacles installed in a kitchen to serve countertop surfaces shall be supplied by at least one small appliance branch circuit, which shall also be permitted to supply receptacle outlets in the same kitchen and in other rooms specified in 2.10.3.3 b. 1. Additional small appliance branch circuits shall be permitted to supply receptacle outlets in the kitchen and other rooms specified in 2.10.3.3 b. 1. No small appliance branch circuit shall serve more than one kitchen. As stated in this section, kitchen countertop receptacle outlets can provide power with other outlets within the same kitchen and other rooms specified in 2.10.3.3 b. 1. Which is the dining room, breakfast room, pantry, or similar areas. There are two kitchens in this dwelling unit. As stated in this section, the small appliance branch circuit for the kitchen shall only serve one kitchen. Hence, the branch circuit of this dirty kitchen and the other kitchen cannot be combined in the same circuit. Going back to section 2.10.1.11, c, in paragraph 2, laundry branch circuits. In addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section, at least one additional 20 ampere branch circuit shall be provided to supply the laundry receptacle outlet required by 2.10.3.3 f. This circuit shall have no other outlets. Laundry areas must have at least one 20A branch circuit to supply receptacle outlet as required in 2.10.3.3 f. Section 2.10.3.3 f requires every laundry area to have at least one outlet, and this outlet is for laundry equipment such as a washing machine and gas clothes dryer. An additional individual branch circuit is required if the clothes dryer is electric. Further, this circuit isn't permitted to serve other outlets, such as laundry room lights and receptacle outlets in different rooms. For branch circuit requirements for bathroom, paragraph 3 of the same section states that, in addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section, at least one 230 volt, 20 ampere branch circuit shall be provided to supply a bathroom receptacle outlets. Such circuits shall have no other outlets. The bathroom must have at least one 20 ampere branch circuit to supply receptacle outlets in the bathroom. However, the installation of 20 ampere branch circuits for the receptacles in each bathroom is not necessary. A single circuit can supply more than one bathroom. Exception. Where the 20 ampere circuit supplies a single bathroom, outlets for other equipment within the same bathroom shall be permitted to be supplied in accordance with 2.10.2.6A1 and A2. This exception allows the branch circuit of a bathroom to provide power to all equipment within the same bathroom, such as bathroom lightings, exhaust fan, or any cord and plug equipment with a rating not exceeding 80% of the branch circuit rating, or fasten in place equipment not exceeding 50% of the branch circuit rating. The branch circuit of this bathroom cannot be combined with other bathroom circuits. Garage branch circuits in paragraph 4 of section 2.10.1.11 c. states that, in addition to the number of branch circuits required by other parts of this section, at least one 230 or 115 volt, 20 ampere branch circuit shall be installed to supply receptacle outlets in attached garages and in detached garages with electric power. This circuit shall have no other outlets. A garage with electric power must have at least one 20 ampere branch circuit to supply the receptacle outlet in the garage. This branch circuit is not permitted to provide power to lighting outlets, however, in the exception, this branch circuit is permitted to provide power to readily accessible outdoor receptacle outlets. Readily accessible means being reached quickly without the use of a portable ladder. To summarize, for a small appliance load, including refrigeration equipment in the kitchen pantry, breakfast room, dining room, and similar areas, one or more 20 ampere appliance circuits shall be provided. However, the kitchen small appliance branch circuit shall only serve one kitchen. Laundry area, the code is required to provide at least one 20 ampere small appliance circuit that will provide power to laundry equipment such as the washing machine and gas clothes dryer. A dedicated individual branch circuit is required if an electric dryer is provided. At least one 20 ampere small appliance branch circuit is required in the bathroom area. This circuit can provide power to other bathroom receptacle outlets, but this circuit cannot provide power lighting outlets, bathroom equipment, and receptacle outlets outside the bathroom. However, if a 20 ampere branch circuit supplies a single bathroom, 
It is allowed to provide power to all equipment within the bathroom if that cord and plug equipment had a rating not exceeding 80% of the branch circuit rating, or for a fasten-in-place equipment not exceeding 50% of the branch circuit rating. And for number 4, at least one 20 ampere small appliance branch circuit is required in the garage with electric power. This circuit can provide power to readily accessible receptacle outlets installed outdoors. However, this circuit cannot power garage lighting and other outlets. Thank you all for watching. Do you have any topics you want to discuss? Please, type in the comment box, and if you like this video, please subscribe, like, or share. See you in the following video.